In this video, we'll be looking at how to solve matrix equations. In this equation, A, B, C, D, and X are all matrices. So some of the things that we're going to do are going to be very similar to how we would solve a regular algebraic equation, but some are going to be different because we're dealing with matrices. So the first thing we want to do is get everything with an X on one side and everything without an X on the other side. So the first thing we're going to do is subtract A from both sides. So on the left hand side, that's going to leave us with DX, and on the right hand side, BX minus C minus A. The next thing we want to do is get BX onto the left hand side. So we'll subtract BX from both sides. So that leaves us with DX minus BX on the left hand side and negative C minus A on the right hand side. Now that we have the X's, the terms with X's on the left hand side, what we can do is factor out an X. Now in regular algebra, it doesn't matter what side we put the X on when we factor it out. But with matrix multiplication, it does matter. So we'll notice that our X's are on the right hand side of both of those terms. So when we factor out the X, it also needs to go on the right hand side. If we put that X in front of the D minus B, it would not be correct. And so that still equals negative C minus A. Now in regular algebra, the next step would be to divide by D minus B. But since we don't have division in matrix algebra, what we're going to do is multiply by the inverse, which is going to accomplish the same thing. So we're going to multiply by the inverse of D minus B. Now when we multiply by D minus B inverse, over on the left hand side of this equation we've multiplied on the left hand side by the inverse. We have to do it on the left hand side on the right hand side of the equation as well. So D minus B inverse needs to go first. We can't put it after D minus C minus A. Now we also want to put parentheses about around the minus C minus A because we are multiplying it and not subtracting. Now on the left hand side when we multiply D minus B inverse times D minus B we know that any time we multiply something times its inverse we get the identity matrix I and then I times X is just X. So we're just left with X on the left hand side D minus B inverse times minus C minus A on the right hand side. And so that is the solution to our matrix equation.